Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Last Epoch. The good old developers from 11th Hour Games have officially bestowed upon us another new skill coming to 084. Another new primalist skill and this is something that they've teased in the past and now we have the breakdown. Right now I'm on the official Last Epoch website under general news and we are going to jump right into this. New primalist skill coming in patch 084, Upheaval. Are you intrigued? Listen to this. Upheaval skill. Upheaval is a powerful semi-spammable ground slam ability. It will do decent amount of damage and have a medium mana cost. With the announced removal of Ice Thorns, Upheaval will be stepping in to fill its empty skill slot. This means that moving forward, Upheaval will be an early and core addition to the Primalist theme and leveling experience. And they need it. Because right now you use Swipe for everything. So it's great that there will be an alternative. I like it. Here is the actual tooltip. Upheaval sunders the ground in a line in front of you, dealing damage to enemies along the path has 120% added damage effectiveness. Now this will cost 10 mana. This is just as the base skill. So I'm sure when you take certain nodes, this will go up or maybe there's a way you could bring it down. It normally has something like that, but what's great, no cooldown. No cooldown with this skill. Scaling tags are physical melee strength and attunement, and I like skills where it scales with both strength and attunement. Makes it way easier to gear if you are going that route. So I like it so far. It's all good. Here's what it looks like. See it? Like you see the rocks coming out of the ground, and then the screen shakes a little bit. Did the screen shake? Right? Because it's hitting the ground, it's even shaking the screen. We knew that the visuals of upheaval needed to feel impactful to our players. We started by adding some additional screen shake, then we added another slam visual object right when the primalist weapon hits the ground. The visual design of upheaval also represents to us the opportunity to create a new visual skill tool, decals over a trail. This is a design tool that drops visual decals every 1.5 units, which results in repeated trail of decals. This design truly realized the desired visuals of upheaval and will certainly be used to shape the future skills in Last Epoch. The skill looks amazing. So right off the bat, I'm very excited because I plan on adding four Primalist builds to 084. And I already have 16. Going for an even 20. And will upheaval be in there? I got a feeling it will. Okay, now we're going to take a look at some upheaval example nodes. So we'll see what we can actually do with this skill. All right. Ice peaks. Bleed chance from all sources are converted to frostbite chance, and the effective related bleed now depends on frostbite instead. Slow chance from all sources is converted to chill chance, and effects related to slow now depend on chill instead. So basically, you could turn it into a cold skill. Okay. You no longer want physical. I'm sorry, you no longer want, yeah, you no longer want physical, you can go into cold. All right. Upheaval totems. This is my favorite thing about the skill. And I have a lot of questions. Okay. Upheaval totems. You now create a totem that attacks with upheaval from it rather than yourself. You are limited to one of these totems. Upheaval now has a cooldown and costs significantly more mana. Now you're probably thinking, why would you want that? Because it looks like this. You cast the totem and it just starts hitting everybody automatically with up evils. Now, this is what I'm excited about. OK, my last build that I made for 084 was my totem build and it was OK. I'm not going to sit here and say it was my best build. OK, I have never made a build focused on totems and you don't see many out there. And I kind of understand why they don't do a whole lot of damage. Don't give you a bunch of survivability. They're just not a great minion. But now we have another new totem coming to the arsenal. And this is what I got to find out. 
So now that it is being cast from a totem, does that mean it is going to scale with minion? Huh? It's now a minion skill. Right? Will upheaval totem work with my totem build? So now I've got my storm totem, which you can turn to ice. And now I've got my upheaval totem, also cold. Or I don't I mean, we'll have to see how it goes. But it is exciting. I like that. And in here it says this is the cold version of upheaval. So you get to see it the different way as well. You can see the ice shards. All right, pulling it up. All right. Tectonic Slam. When upheaval hits an enemy, it has a chance to release a shockwave, a melee physical sub skill that the shockwave cannot hit enemies already hit by upheaval and vice versa. Okay, so you can create a shockwave. But it is interesting that if you hit an enemy with upheaval and then the shockwave goes off, you can't hit the same enemy twice. That sucks. Uh, rejuvenating splinters, upheaval and shockwave hits now shatter totems, releasing shards of rocks and debris, dealing spell physical damage and heals you per attunement. So this is interesting, too, because, again, upheaval really scales well with totems. So now if you've got like the circle of thorn totems where you could drop five of them and then you hit them with upheaval and then the shockwave breaks them. What does that look like? Huh? Eh? a lot of stuff. Excavating blow upheaval now travels in three fault lines in front of you, but costs additional mana. Enemies can only be hit by one fault line per use. That kind of sucks. So obviously you can make it three. I'm sure everybody knew that this was coming, that you could have more. It was literally the first thing that I thought about. Like, I wonder how many upheavals you can have at once. This is three. You can only hit. You can't hit. So if you're fighting a boss, you're still only going to hit him with one. It's not like all three can get him. Natural weapons. Upheaval deals damage in a larger area while using a mace, has a chance to cause enemies to bleed while using an axe, and has additional melee cold damage when using a staff. And here is where my brain goes with natural weapons. What if I'm using a mace? And then I have the node in the passive tree for two handed. And then on my offhand, I have an axe. Do I get the area percent because I'm using a mace? And the bleed percent because I'm using an axe. I hope so. That would be cool. Uh, Trem. When you directly use upheaval and hit at least one enemy, you gain a stack of earth shattering up to a maximum, causing your next fury leap or earthquake to consume all stacks to gain additional physical penetration and increased area per stack consumed. This immediately makes me think of Werebear. How can you get upheaval to trigger through Werebear, which I think you could do through Maul, to then boost your Fury Leap, which you can use, and Earthquake. Interesting. And that's it. And by the way, they said for sure this is coming on 084. And they said for sure 084 is coming by the end of this year, which we pretty much already knew should be mid-December. Okay, everybody, that is the new skill. Do I like it? Great question. Yes, I absolutely like it. And they are so smart to remove ice thorns and give us another melee attack. Because again, everybody uses swipe. Looks really good. I like the nodes because it gives us lots of variety. You know you're going to be able to take it cold. You know you're going to be able to have more. You're going to be able to use totems. You're going to be able to use bleed. And that's just the examples that we saw. So I think this is going to be a great addition to the Primalist. But of course, I want to know your opinion. What do you think of, of upheaval? Is this something that you will test or use when we get 084? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm sure you've heard by now that I have officially started a Twitch streaming on Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, having so much fun with the ARPG community. Right now, we are getting our Druid ready for 084 because there's four builds coming for this next update. Can't wait to get my hands on it. First link in the description if you'd like to go to Twitch and support. If you haven't had a chance to join the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. 
We're now over 1,200 members, great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together, so you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is also in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this last Epoch video. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out.